A West Michigan serial killer will soon go free. Tonight, we're getting reaction to a judge's decision to release one of the notorious Alpine Manor nursing home killers from prison. Relatives of some of the five victims fear Catherine Wood will kill again. News 8's Ken Kolker has covered this case from the very beginning. He joins us with reaction tonight. Ken. Sue, a Kent County judge determined that the Michigan Parole Board did not abuse its discretion when it decided to release Catherine Wood. The ruling stunned relatives of the victims. And my biggest concern is that she will harm, find a way to harm someone else. She's an incredibly manipulative human being. Stephanie Scruggs, the granddaughter of victim May Mason, helped lead the legal fight to keep Wood in prison. Just kind of numb. I, I couldn't quite believe it, honestly. I really honestly thought we made a very good case as to why she shouldn't get out. Wood and Gwen Graham were both nurses' aides at the former Alpine Manor Nursing Home in Walker who were convicted of suffocating five elderly patients suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia. They reportedly tried to spell the word murder with their victim's initials. Graham got life in prison without parole. Wood, who was the prosecutor's key witness, got 20 to 40 years. She has served 30 years of her sentence and under previous good behavior laws, would have been released no later than June 2021. The parole board had denied Woods released eight times before, saying she was not remorseful and would pose a threat. But the board reversed that last September, ordering her release and leading to a court fight. It's a case of, unfortunately, what happens in our republic where bureaucracy gets out of hand and bureaucracy thinks it knows better than everyone else. Judge Joseph Rossi's ruling found that the parole board did not abuse its discretion when it said she had done well in prison, was rehabilitated, and no longer posed a threat. Scruggs says there's no legal recourse to fight the release, but says the case shows the need to change the law that allows serial killers to take advantage of old good behavior credits. She believes Wood should serve her entire 40 years. That's like giving son of Sam time off for early behavior. That would never happen anywhere else. And I don't believe that you can rehabilitate a serial killer. The ruling shows that the parole board added a condition to keep Wood from working with vulnerable adults or children. The state says her earliest release date is now November 5th. She plans to live with a sister in South Carolina.